welcome to Joshua Production. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so that each time I post a new video, you might be notified. And today we are going to be looking at coordinate geometry. So the full topic of coordinate geometry is going for sale and it's only going for sale at 30 Quachu. And after you make a payment using Airtel, MTN, Zanaco, eWallet or any other method which is appropriate, I'm going to send the video on WhatsApp or I'm going to send you a link where you can download the video or I'm going to use any method which is appropriate. And the other food topics videos which are going for sale at third quarter include trigonometry, earth geometry, linear programming, statistics, homeostasis, reproduction implants, the periodic table, organic chemistry, the moon concept, wave motion, light, magnetism and current electricity so let us now look at the highlights of this video or some of the sample scripts that are contained in coordinate geometry welcome to joshua production and today we're going to be looking at coordinate geometry so coordinate geometry is defined as the study of geometry using coordinate system this is the study of geometry using coordinate system and from our definition there we see that we have two terms we have the study of geometry using coordinate system so for us to understand geometry we need to understand coordinate system and we can understand coordinate system by knowing the Cartesian plane. So let us draw an example of the Cartesian plane. So as you can see, that's our Cartesian plane or, or our X or Y plane. And for us, and for us, we can identify this triangle. If we say this is triangle A, B, C, we can find the coordinate of each point. So we can say that point A there is on 2, 5. So the first thing that is supposed to do is to give the x coordinate. So the x coordinate of A there is 2. Then the y coordinate is 5. So the general formula that you use when finding the coordinate of each point, you give the x coordinate, then you give the y coordinate. Let us identify the coordinate of B. The coordinate of B there, the x coordinate that's 10, comma, the y coordinate that's negative 4. What about C? Let's move to C. C there, the coordinate of C is on uh, the x coordinate of 2. Then what about the y coordinate? It's on which y coordinate is on negative 4. So these are the coordinates of these points and this is going to take us to our first thing which is our first subtopic which is calculating the length of a straight line between two points. So calculating the length of a straight line between two points. Buy the full topic video of coordinate geometry at 30 Quacha. For further information, you can call me or text me on WhatsApp on 0973 So calculating the length of a straight line between two points. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is how we get this formula. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start by drawing up our Cartesian plane. And this is our Cartesian plane. If this is y, this is x. And we say that this is our point P. This is our point R. And this is our point Q. And let's take, for instance, we are trying to calculate, 
have been given a uh, equation and the question says calculate the length of line PR so you are trying to calculate uh, line PR there and as you can see this triangle is a 90 degree triangle that means that that's the hypotenuse we have the hypotenuse there so we can calculate the length of this line by adding these two by adding the squared of these two side of pq we're going to say pq squared and r q and r q squared so for us to calculate p r there we can say p r squared is equal to we're going to use the same concept of pythagoras theorem p r squared is equal to p q squared plus r q squared buy the full topic video of coordinate geometry at 30 quatra for further information you can call me or text me on whatsapp on 0973023620 with coordinate geometry and we're going to look at our second subtopic which is finding the midpoint of two lines so finding the midpoint of two lines so the midpoint of a line segment is the point on the line segment that lies exactly halfway between the two endpoints of the line segment. So the midpoint of a line segment is the point on the line segment that lies exactly halfway between the two endpoints of the two lines. And as you can see, I've already drawn my Cartesian plane and have line a b and line a there it's having the coordinate of x1 comma y1 as you can see we have our x1 there and our y1 there then uh, point b is on coordinate x2 comma y2 as you can see i have x2 and y2 so the midpoint of line a b can be represented by capital letter m there and the coordinates of point m have x m comma y m so we can say that we can say that x m x m is halfway between x1 and y uh, x1 and x2 so x m is exactly halfway between x1 and x2 so for us to calculate xm there we're going to say xm is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 then as to calculate to find x uh, ym so ym is halfway between y1 and y2 so ym is, is equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And for us now to write our general formula, these two formulas that we have written of xm and ym, they are going to help us out. So we are going to say that finding the midpoint will be equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 by the full topic video of coordinate geometry at 30 quatra for further information you can call me or text me on whatsapp on 0973023620 let us now look at the gradient the gradient intercept form let us now look at the gradient intercept form and the standard form of the equation of the straight line is given as y is equal to mx plus c so where m is the gradient and c is the y intercept so where m is the gradient and c is the y intercept so the y intercept is the y coordinate 
at the point where the line cuts the y axis so the y intercept is a point where the line cuts the y axis so we can also say that the x intercept is the x coordinate at the point where the line cuts the x axis so we have said that the standard form of the equation of the straight line is given as y is equal to m x plus c by the full topic video of coordinate geometry at 30 quatra for further information you can call me or text me on whatsapp on 0973023620let us now look at the examples so example one reads find the gradient of the straight line a there with a gradient of 2 and y intercept of 5 so our one a there we have been told that the gradient is 2 and the y intercept we have been given as 5 so we're going to write the general form of writing the straight line so y is equal to mx plus c there so our y will be equal to m we know that's 2 so it's going to be 2x plus c there we know that's 5 so that's going to be our answer by the full topic video of coordinate geometry at 30 quatra for further information you can call me or text me on whatsapp on 0973 let us now look at the double intercept form so the double intercept form is a form where you're going to be given the x intercept and the y intercept so you're going to be given the x intercept and the y intercept and from that information that you're going to be given you can calculate gradient and after calculating gradient you can write uh, the equation of the straight line so I've said that the double intercept form is a form where you're going to be given the x intercept You're also going to be given the y intercept and from these two information you can calculate your gradient and after you know your gradient and since you know your y intercept which is c you can uh, write the equation of the straight line which is equal to mx plus c by the full topic video of coordinate geometry at 30 quatra for further information you can call me or text me on whatsapp on 0973 let us now look at parallel and perpendicular lines so if two straight lines are parallel then their gradient is the same so if m1 and m2 are the gradients of two parallel lines then we can say m1 is equal to m2 if two straight lines are perpendicular to each other this means that the product of their gradient is negative one so if we have m1 and m2 as the gradient of the two perpendicular lines then m1 multiplied by m2 that's going to be equal to negative 1 let us now look at example 2 example 2a reads find the equation of the straight line that passes through the point 4 comma 6 and is parallel to the line y is equal to 3x minus Eight. so I've been told that you're supposed to find the equation of the straight line that passes through the point 4 
4,6. So this parallel line passes through 4 over 6 and it is parallel to this line which is 3x minus 8. So our first thing that we are supposed to do, we are supposed to identify the gradient. So we know that the gradient of this equation m is equal to 3. That means that it's going to be equal to this line, the line that we're supposed to calculate. So we can say y is equal to mx plus c. And we know that this is our x and this is our y. And we know that two parallel lines, their gradient is the same. That means the gradient of this uh, line is also going to be 3. So we can say our y there, our y is 6 is equal to the gradient we know that's 3 our x we know that's 4 plus c so you can say 6 is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 that's 12 plus c there and we can say 6 when 12 goes to the other side of the equation, you can say minus 12 is equal to C. 6 minus 12, that's negative 6, is equal to C. And since we know our, our, our y-intercept as negative 6, and we know that our gradient is 3, so we can say y is equal to mx plus C. So y is equal to we know that the gradient is 3, so 3x, three then we're going to have plus, our y-intercept we know that's negative 6. So y is equal to 3x minus 6. Since when we multiply positive and negative, we're going to have negative. So our equation of the straight line will be y is equals to 3x minus 6. So those are some of the trips that are contained in coordinate geometry. So if you have enjoyed the video and you want to buy the video, you can call me or text me on WhatsApp on 973 Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Peace. I'll meet you next time.